Good morning everyone. How are we doing? Well, I'm ready for another day. I've got, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> believe I have, let's see, nine yards left. So uh, we're going to get plenty of footage, but I've got a super important topic today and I've never heard anybody talk about this, but uh, what do the customers look for in us when a customer calls us what should they be looking for in a lawn care service so we'll go through that and uh, I know you guys will add to it because I'm not going to remember everything I'm trying to get done trying to beat the heat it is going to be a whopper today so hope you guys are having a blessed day hope you had a blessed day by the time you see this video want to thank you all all of the new subscribers had a lot of people subscribe this last couple months it's been awesome um i got a i got an email last night well actually i got three of them from three different companies wanting me to try some of their stuff so that's just a blessing and sarah and i talked about it and uh I think that's her calling me. I'll be right back. That was the missus. And uh, she said to tell you guys, oh, sorry, I messed up your video. She didn't mess my video up. Anyway, guys, we got three emails from three different companies. And, and we kind of talked about it, prayed about it a little bit. And I reached out to one, and they are sending me something. And we'll see where the other two go. Who knows? But... Uh, might be something for you guys if you're interested in it and uh i don't know i'm not gonna make any money off of uh out of the deal just get you know a few things maybe and i think that's a blessing so I, i'm really happy with that and uh i try to get companies that have quality products so i can show you guys and of course i'll be honest if i don't like it i will tell you i don't like it but uh hey Let's get some mowing footage and let's talk about what should customers look for when they hire us? What, what are a few things? And I, I've only got a couple things I can think of, but you guys are always awesome. You guys think of stuff and it's great. So uh, anyway, let's go to work.
had you tucked inside this little tree area here. I don't know how much you could see, but uh, there it is. Did both of those, this one right here, that one over there, and uh, let me uh, blow everything off. We'll talk. See you guys in uh, just a few minutes. Okay, there's the front yard. Got this one done. Oh, I forgot to blow that one. Well, I thought I was done. Yeah, it happens. So, tell you what, man. Today is not that hot. It was supposed to be 97. And right now, it is noon. I've got four yards left. And it is exactly 70... Three degrees with a real fill of 86 it's beautiful out so I got to thank the Lord for that we were we were worried about what it would bring what today would bring but uh, anyway let me show you these those are done that looks good this one looks good today so gonna be doing some hedge trimming cleaning up I don't know I got to see what their budget is I think they're thinking something a little different than what I've got in mind because this place needs as you can see it it needs a lot of work guys I have an idea in mind tell me what you think just to clean the front I mean hedge trimming weeding getting it all just straightened up so give me your number and uh tomorrow in tomorrow's video we'll talk about it and I'll tell you my number so Hey, I'll be back. Whew. Oh, first of all, number one thing that we should offer people, what a customer should be looking for in us, I think, is insurance. When you're talking four, five, six, hundred thousand dollar homes, nice cars in the driveway, I think you must have great insurance to offer these folks. Uh, let me go finish this. We'll talk about it more because uh, that's about all the footage I'm going to get today. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, guys, I'm on my last two, but I had to share something that was just mind-boggling and mind-blowing awesome. And what a blessing. I come out of the last neighborhood and I saw the Red Bull KTM factory racing semi and trailer. And I was like... I just wonder if that's for motocross. So I drove over there, took pictures, and I saw, I met the truck driver, Corey. I, just a huge shout out to this guy. He actually let me go inside the trailer. I put pictures on Instagram. I didn't take pictures of everything, but if you guys are into motocross, you know who Roger DeCoster is. I got to walk up inside where they sit and watch all the videos that they go over with the riders so cool got to see aaron plessinger's number seven 450 ktm factory racing wow i'm telling you guys right now i'm on cloud nine i cannot believe it what a blessing i am so that's what i wanted to do when i was a kid is be a pro dirt bike rider and now i got to see their he took me in. In fact, I'll show you what he gave me. This is so cool. He gave me all kinds of stickers for the riders. Tom Vial, Aaron Plessinger, Red Bull KTM. And uh, he gave me this one, AP number seven, Aaron Plessinger. Awesome, awesome people, man. And... Uh, got to talk to him for about a half hour wow, what an awesome day so anyway let me get these two done we'll finish up the video on what customers right now i don't even care <laughs> i gotta tell you i don't even care if i even mow grass anymore that was just a once in a lifetime awesome thing so check out my instagram dlt lawn care check out the pics what a great guy man Corey. thank you so much brother anyway I'll be back, guys.
Okay, guys, let's finish this up because it is getting warm. It's getting warm, and I'm home. I'm done. So, a um, couple things I think customers should look at. They should look at uh, our personality, and I'll say that because I've worked, I've hired people to do jobs at my home, and when the personality is not good, it just doesn't quite click with me. I think uh, personality has a big thing to do with whether you click with a customer. Um, if you have if you have things in common with them, if you uh, you know, also attitude. A good attitude is really hard to find now in the service industry. And that's what we're providing as a service. So you have to have a good attitude. You've got to treat every customer like they're your only customer. At least I think so. Now, everybody else is going to say something different, but I think that's one thing that's important to me when somebody treats me like I'm the most important customer that day. Um, also, punctuality. And showing up, just showing up. How many jobs have I gotten? I can't even tell you that other people just didn't show up or didn't answer their phone. So as someone looking on the outside, if I, if I want to hire a lawn care service, I want them to be punctual, on time, uh, good attitude, you know, those are some of the things I'm looking at when I hired Precision Door to do my garage door. So, and and what a what a fantastic event that was. I mean, it was great, man. Guy was awesome. Um, you know, but uh, knowledge, knowledge is another thing. If a guy can step on to my property and tell me and lead me around and show me exactly what needs to be done that is important to me i want someone with knowledge and customers should want someone with knowledge not just somebody that's there to just mow blow and go now a lot of the people i work for they don't just want that they want you to have the knowledge also they want you to offer other services. If they can get everything with one guy, that's what most people are looking for. I mean, you rarely find a guy that can do a roof and a garage door. Okay, so you don't find that very often. So those are some of the important things I think customers should look at when they are looking for a lawn care company reputation also as long as you have a good reputation I have had people ask me for references I have had to give them I don't have a problem with that so anyway guys hope you enjoyed it uh, I had a blessed day I mean my day was awesome I got to experience something I never thought I would and uh, wow so cool Anyway, guys, love you all. God bless you all. Hope you had a blessed day. God truly has blessed my life, and I thank him so much every day. So, as always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, guys, and be good to people, man. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.